Another farm program to help farmers is called acreage restrictions. This is where farmers are getting paid a certain amount of money for each acre of land that they leave idle. In other words, they're encouraged to produce less. So how does that work in practice? So let's say that the demand curve for the product that they're selling, wheat or corn or whatever, is like that. And let's say the supply curve looks like that. Let's call it S1. When farmers are encouraged to produce less, the supply is going to be less. So the supply is going to shift to the left. And that means that the equilibrium, which was originally here, the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity, is now going to be at this new point here. As you can see, the price is higher. And because the demand for food is inelastic, the quantity doesn't really decrease that much so that the total revenue for the farmer will be higher. If we attach numbers to these equilibrium points, we can see that the original equilibrium, $3, and the quantity of 10, we would have each farmer earning 3 times 10, or $30 in revenue. And then the new one, where the supply is less, than S2, we would have 5 times 9 is the total revenue there, so the revenue there is 45. And as you can see, it increased from 30 to 45. This program definitely helps struggling farmers. However, the disadvantages are that, first of all, that the government has to pay for each acre that farmers leave idle. And so taxes will go up. And then the other thing is, as you can see, the equilibrium price of the agricultural product will increase. So consumers are going to pay a higher price for their products. We should also note that farmers, when they're encouraged to leave a number of acres idle, they're going to leave their least productive land idle. So what happens in reality is that supply really doesn't decrease a whole lot because that least productive land wasn't producing much to begin with. But in the meantime, governments uh, still have to pay money to these farmers per acre. So taxes will increase. And if supply doesn't really decrease that much, that's pretty much all that's going to happen then.